technique called integration by parts. Um, integration by parts is another special integration operation, just like uh, integration by substitution is. Um, and again, it's used for very specific cases. Um, in this case, you um, it is used in cases where you have two functions multiplied by each other. In this case, in the example I have here, we have x times e to the x. Um, and you use it in a situation where one of those pieces you can easily take the derivative of, and one of those pieces you can easily take the antiderivative of. And when you do that, the combination of them, you end up with a simpler antiderivative than when you what you have when you begin. Now, in this specific case, um, we have x times e to the x, and we can looking at the integration, standard integration by parts relationship, u dv, we have one part that represents u and one part that represents dv. Now, the way that I do this is I set up a chart where I set one part of the function that I have equal to u and one part equal to dv. Now, notice that I've written it in kind of a weird offset way. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative of this. I'm going to say du is equal to, and I'm going to say v is equal to. So I choose something for u. In this case, I'm going to choose u to be x. And I choose something for dv, and I'm going to choose that to be e to the x dx. Now what I do is I take the derivative of this part. Um, I'll write this in another color. Take derivative. And when I do that, I get the derivative of, I would say du dx equals 1, or I could say du equals dx, written it spread out the way we did um, integration by substitution. And in this case, I take the integral. In this one, I'm going in this direction. And I take the antiderivative. Oh, I don't know if I can fit it in there. Uh, there we go. I take the antiderivative, and I get uh, the antiderivative of e to the x dx is just e to the x. I'm going to rewrite this one in blue so you can see that we went um, down, went down this way, and we got the integral of um, x is dx. And so now I reference this chart down here, and it says the integral of u dv, which is what we've decided, which which, which is what we've substituted in using this. Um, and I can fill out this chart below. So the integral of u dv, or the integral in this case of x e to the x dx is equal to u, which is x, times v, which is e to the x, I have written in red, minus the integral of v, which in this case is e to the x, um, still written in red, times du, and du is dx. That's written in blue. So now notice that I still have an integral, but I have an integral who's, um, that I know how to do, the integral or the antiderivative of e to the x dx. So I am able to do the next step, x e to the x, minus the integral of e to the x dx is e to the x plus c. And that is our solution. Um, we can check the answer, of course, by taking the derivative. And I check it when I take the derivative of this thing. Um, I get um, let me 
we don't have room to say it's dy dx, is equal to, um, well, I need to use the product rule for the first part. So I have 1 times e to the x plus um, x e to the x minus the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x, and the derivative of c is 0. So this simplifies to, in this case, the this e to the x and this negative e to the x cancel. So I'm left with x e to the x, which is what I started with. So good check. Okay, correct. All right, so that is the basic technique of integration by parts. Um, we have um, in your book, it gives us uh, theorem seven, gives you, you're always gonna use this formula. Um, U, the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du, and u du, v, and dv are determined by the chart. You choose something for u and dv, you take the derivative of u to get du, you take the antiderivative of dv to get v, and then you substitute them in and finish the problem. Um, the, your book has uh, tips on using integration by parts. I'll just read these, explain them a little bit. Number one says, if you had no success using substitution, try integration by parts. Like I said before, uh, integration by parts is a special technique for very special problems that happen to work for that. Um, like integration by substitution. You use integration by parts when an integral is of the form, you've got two functions multiplied by each other, and you can match it with the integral u dv, like we did in the last problem. Um, by choosing a function to be u equals f of x, where f of x, f of x can be differentiated, and the remaining factor dv, where g of x can be integrated. So you wanna choose something for u, that you can easily get a derivative of. You want to choose something for dv that you can easily get an antiderivative of. Find du by differentiating and v by integrating. Uh, we did that in the chart above. If the resulting integral is more complicated than what you started with, scratch it and start over again. That's an important step. Um, and then check your result by taking the derivative. Uh, I hope this helps. You guys have some problems to do. Um, I will be remote um, for our next class. So um, I look forward to seeing your beautiful faces on the computer screen on uh, Monday or Tuesday, depending on which class you're in. See you soon.